So guys, a bit of a disclaimer here. We are big fans of Earfun. Well, we have been. But our last review on the Air SV wasn't too positive. So has the Air S fixed that? Goedendag, we're DHRME, Division of Headphone Research and Measurement of Earfun. Whew, it's hot here. There's one reason why we think you might not want these earbuds. But let's start with the price to set the context. At about $70 at launch, these can be had for $50 with the initial discount. So we also have to cut the Earphone Air S some S for slack. Let's start with S for sound. Their overall sound signature is kind of flat, but definitely leaning towards the warmer side. Bass and mids are in the forefront of the picture. Mid bass is tightly controlled, but sub bass can be a bit loose and can lack attack. Certain recordings can also get slightly boomy, but the fact that this isn't overbearing makes it less of a problem. Luckily, you get a decent codec, APTX, and the resolution is on the good side. And timbres are very realistic with violins sounding like violins, guitars sounding like guitars, drums sounding like drums, trees sounding like Earfun now has a very S for simple app, which we think hits all the basics quite well. You get a simple three band EQ with some basic presets. The treble at no point is sibilant, which is nice for those of us who are treble sensitive. The mids are fine, and as you can see, it's a very gentle U shape that Earfun's going for here. Funnily enough, the S have a game mode for lower latency, but what it does to the sound is pretty extreme. It adds a lot of S for sparkle to the sound, boosting the mids and highs. This might be to improve imaging while gaming, but also opens up the sound a lot more for music. We also thought it worked well for music with a bit of tweaking the EQ. While testing the game mode on Killing in the Name of, where Brad Wilk is going rat -a -tat on the snare drum at the end, there's a weird clicking sound I picked up and I thought it's the drivers breaking up, but as it turns out, it's just something new that was revealed to me using the Earphone Air S. Probably the bass is pick on the strings, so props to Earphone for that. That sound is decent for this price point. But what Earphone's going for with this model is its S for sexy new multi-point capabilities. And you know what? After using it for a couple of weeks with Windows and Android, as well as with Mac and Android, I'm happy to report that there are no major glitches at all. You have to pause on one device to resume playback on the other though. There's no device list in the app and the pairing process is simple. Place the buds in the case, hit the pairing button till the LEDs flash blue and pair. However, connecting to more than two devices is a pain, but for those of you with one or two devices, this will work well. What's also nice is that EQ settings are retained across devices. Now, let's talk about the one thing that starts with S and rhymes with fit. Yeah, the fit is not S for secure, but more like S for shit. Well, it's not so much that it's crap, but the materials that Earfun is using are very, what's the word? S for slippery. These have to be the slipperiest ear tips we've ever tried. I mean, we have tried upwards of many dozens of ear tips in the past. And the worst thing we've come across is that some have had a great grip in the first couple of days and then after a few uses, couldn't deal with our incredible oils and became slippery. But this one is slippery right from the get go. Almost like they're repelling us. Do headphones repel major entertainers? And you know what? To give them the benefit of the doubt, we did test this for a couple of weeks, hoping to get a grip. Nothing doing. The left earbud, somehow always the left one, kept taking away my ears fun. Of course, you could get third party tips, but that means these aren't a cheap solution anymore. And let's talk about those touch controls. You get a fair number of controls at your fingertips, as you can see here. But the controls are way too sensitive and adjusting the earbud almost always triggers the controls. We can imagine that if you get a good fit, these are fine, but if you don't, you almost always end up changing volume while adjusting the buds. Because that's what the single tap does. In terms of calls, we thought these were pretty decent. We subjected them to some wind and noise. See for yourselves. All right, some traffic sounds now on the Earphone Air S, and I want to check if the microphones are performing well. It's not very loud traffic, it's just basically the rubber on the road. It's not like they're very noisy engines or trucks or anything, but it should still distinguish my voice well from the background noise. So how was that? Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. How's the voice? Is it clear? Okay, the reason I'm not actually cutting my hair is so that you get a good visual indicator of 
how much wind there is when I'm doing a wind mic test. So give a thumbs up for the dedication. Uh, anyway, this is me with the earphone Air S in pretty windy conditions, as you can see. Um, the grass is blowing. You can see the water as well. Uh, is my voice clear? I think the wind enough. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, 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 test, test, testing, one, two, three. Let us know. One thing to mention here is that there was a lot of occlusion and while on phone calls, there was no automatic transparency mode. So I kept having the effect of hearing myself through my own S for skull. On the positive side, apart from basic Fachmann controls, the volume controls also work fine. Very handy. And here are some quick ANC and transparency samples. See you on the other side. Noise cancelling. Ambient sound. So our view is this, these are mid to low tier earbuds. So the ANC is fine for the price. Lower end engine and humming noise is reduced slightly and the transparency is quite natural sounding surprisingly and close to having nothing in your ears, but unfortunately doesn't get as loud. It's good to have anything at this price to be honest. And the best part is that the sound signature does not change at all when you use ANC. So that's nice. And then there's the build stodgy, staid, and spiritless. It's all plastic and feels not premium in any which way, which is surprising, you know, because Earphone can make pretty solid and sleek cases like its Earphone Free Pro 2 case here. I mean, just look at this. This is made of aluminum and metal, uh, and it's thin and pocketable and light and premium looking. So. What do you get with this kind of biggish case? Well, you do get wireless charging, but you also got that with the Free Pro 2 case. And maybe what you get additionally is that they carry four charges in the case. So that's good. But if you'd ask me, I'd like a compact case and maybe one charge less, but that's just me. They also come with fast charging, good again. And the buds don't look terrible, right? But they look fine and resist S for sweat at IPX5. But we could barely use these buds while S for sitting on our chairs, let alone in any kind of workout because these also don't have an in-ear sensor that helps automatically pause your audio when you take the buds out of your ears. So would we recommend the Earfun Air S? Well, I don't know. Let's look at S for solid reasons to buy these. S for switching between devices for multipoint. It works as advertised. S for solid sound. At this price, these are a recommend. S for sufficient battery life. It's not groundbreaking, but it does come with four charges in the case. S for superb call quality. S for stable. The connectivity was very stable in our time with it. And S for sales at $49.99. These are a pretty good deal. The reasons why these are an S for sus are the S for stout case, a chonker any way you look at it. S for so-so ANC transparency mode. Look, they're fine for the price, but this should not be a reason why you buy these earbuds. S for slippery ear tips. S for super sensitive touch controls with all the false touches that get registered. And S for sustainability. We don't see anything about sustainability on Earphones website. You've been getting super stressed out and, and we've, we've been, been DHRME. Namaste. Namaste.